Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Is that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony? Just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 Relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? It was hard to see Ashley again. And now it's done. Best to leave those connections behind and focus on our mission. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gernsback. The ship my father served on. 
It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I'd think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like... well... you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. How are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? She moved on. I can't blame her. She was frontline with you blowing up half the Citadel, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? But did somebody switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything is going well up here? Shh! Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know! That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard, the tank you recovered from Corliss indicates stable Krogan life signs inside. It is in the cargo bay, should you wish to investigate. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. Do you have strong feelings for her? Would it bother you if I did, Kelly? No, I'm just making sure my Commander isn't going bonkers. It's not like I'm trying to be a friend. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care.
Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. How may I help you, Commander? You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. 
Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Let's drop it, okay? Get back to whatever it is you think we can do. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Well do, Commander. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine. One fight is as good as any other. 
Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Wise Shepherd. If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much, like the tank. Come back later. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Shepard. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. That's all for now. Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Probe. 
Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? 
I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nos Astra's most respected information brokers. Nos Astra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. Tired of trading employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting-edge indentured service, Indenture Tech can provide contract guaranteed labor for any technical area. Contact Indenture Tech today. You've been a slave to your employees for too long. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Pardon me, I'm on a call. A quiet candlelight vigil is... 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on. Come on, give me something. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Welcome! You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. The data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call.
Sorry, I'm busy right now. I can't help you. If you need something, talk to admin. coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. You're sure? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think you he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I... I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help.
What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? I'm telling you, relax. Thax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours, plus overtime. No, she won't even talk to me. Nothing to declare? Move along. You're a shepherd? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zeus Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous Geth attack, and from the Thorian creature's control. Too many people died in the fighting for us to save the colony. It's still better than being a slave to the Thorian, though. Where did the survivors go after Zeus Hope shut down? Most of us stayed together and went back to Earth. Run down, but familiar. We needed familiar faces. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. What brings you to Alien? We've had health trouble, probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. A I didn't...
Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. I just received the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. I don't know what we would have done without you. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? Things for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control. We'd like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin being creeps. While Ilium News did credit the legendary skill to the drill community was intended in misstatements implying otherwise. Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilia? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch, and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? 
Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship. Or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? The Shepard Memorial on Akuz is expected to open next year once the area is declared safe for visitors. Admiral Stephen Hackett will preside. Figure something out. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. This is my life you're talking about. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There is also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So slavery is legal on Ilium? 
indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met, Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. Welcome to Eternity. I am Athita Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She would put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go there. Can I help you with something? How would you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI program? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. 
We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a Quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Quarian had better be good, though. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. 
She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell in your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. Works for me. Then not pack it down. Tell Captain Inyala to send back up. Now let's finish you off. Point combat drone! We need a medic! Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But... Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? 
I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. Use this. Authorized for a lethal force. Trouble incoming. Shield down.
This is valuable. line.
Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niquette making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niquette wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niquette wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niquette know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. You know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. <laughs> Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... This should be fun. <laughs> Niquette, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niquette? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness, you weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? I like her. Are we still recruiting? Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait! I don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! We're compromised! Take her off that, sir! Yeah. <laughs> 
could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. <laughs> No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. 